Okay guys, I got a great diagnostic tip for you and fix, no cost fix except for the intake seals, on the Windstars and the 4.2 liters in the Econolines and the F-150s. What happens is that um, your symptoms include, it runs fine at idle, no problems, uh, you probably have no codes, you might have a misfire code uh, for a particular cylinder, but what you'll have is it'll run fine at idle, you be driving along, and then the um, you'll start getting a misfire out of nowhere on one particular cylinder. And the reason for it is because these little ports, this is a unique design to the 3.8 and 4.2, these are EGR ports, like a port injection for the EGR system. And what happens is usually, you know, the other five get plugged. So they're not injecting no EGR into these other ones. Well, everything that's coming in from the EGR valve, all that flow from that big pipe comes into the intake and comes out of one cylinder. And what the EGR is, is to decrease um, exhaust gas temps so we don't, don't get to that high temp above, I think it's 2500 um, degrees Fahrenheit and then you start creating NOx, which is another you know, greenhouse gas, blah, blah, blah. So that's why the system's there. So it's an inert gas. Um, and it's gonna, it, it will lean out the mixture um, to an extent, and that's accounted for when these, it's getting it all evenly. The PCM, you know, it, it, cal it, it, it calibrates for that, and it compensates. But if you're getting all the EGR in one port, it will not compensate for that because you're just putting tons of inert gas into that cylinder and um, you'll have the misfire. Okay, so what you can do without pulling the upper intake like I have here, because I'm doing uh, upper intake seals, it's unrelated repair, is you can, if you have this issue where it's, it's getting misfires once the EGR kicks in and any other time it's fine, and everything the ignition system checks out, what you can do is come over here, engine off, engine on, doesn't matter, pull your vacuum line to your EGR valve, just leave it to the side, just like that, then go for a drive under the same conditions that it was happening before, um, and test it, and all of a sudden you won't have misfires. And what it is, is the all that gas being dumped into that cylinder. And since you cut off all those gases ever coming in to this channel, the misfire's gone. So if you are having that problem with the EGR, and you figured out it is the EGR, what you can do is use a thick coat hanger and get down in here and clean them out. Something angled like this, then you can get to the back ones too. And start cleaning those ones out without pulling this whole upper intake off. All I gotta do is pull the upper clamshell off and you can get that taken care of.